What's going on guys, Nizer here. Today I'm going to be doing a video that I've never done on a channel and as you saw from the title, I'm going to be trying a cigar for the very first time. This will be my very first time doing this because I just turned 21. Obviously, yes, I could have done it the wrong way or the illegal way and actually bought like a cigar before. Actually, I technically could have if I really wanted to because the rules changed like three different times when I was 18 or whatever. Regardless of the fact though, I've never smoked one, but I decided for my 21st birthday that I wanted to really do this. It's something I've always wanted to do, and I think I'm gonna really like doing it. I went to the place called Cigar Realm in Ashland, Virginia. When I walked inside, the aroma just hits your nose as soon as. At first, it kind of turned me off, but when you were in there, it's just like, man, this smells good though. It's weird. It's it's like really weird how it's a smell that you don't normally smell. It doesn't smell like cigarettes at all. Like it just smells way more richer. Uh, you know it's not like nicotine or anything. It's definitely like just that tobacco rich smell. Now I did get some advice from a couple of people that I know who do smoke cigars. One of the people I actually know, he recommended uh, Davidoff as well as my father. I decided to go with Davidoff and the guy named Lloyd, shout out to you man. If you're watching this video, thank you for the help and everything with my first time doing this. He got me a cutter, uh, I got a lighter now, and then I also have the cigar itself. With that being said though, it did come to a pretty penny. Uh, I won't be paying basically this much again for a long time. It cost $3.99 for the cutter, then on top of that, the cigar itself was $25. Then for the lighter, that was $35. So the lighter was the most expensive thing, which I found to be hilarious. I could have just bought a regular lighter, but it was a really cool lighter, and I'll show you guys in just a sec. But that total came to $70.59 after tax. So yeah, I dropped some cash on that one, but I think it'll definitely be worth it. It's something that I won't be doing often, but it's going to be something that I do maybe from time to time to celebrate. I think it's something good to do maybe when you get a new job or something, or maybe you have a kid. Like me, I turned 21. That's why I'm doing it. And he did ask for me to show my ID, and he was like, happy birthday, because my birthday was literally September 29th. Here's the bag, as you see here, it comes in a black bag, uh, which I found to be hilarious because just like ABC stores, uh, it also comes in a black bag when you get tobacco products. Here is the lighter, this is by Vector. Uh, it's a pretty cool lighter, I can't front. Really nice packaging, simple, elegant, really nice lighter. I'm not gonna keep lighting it because I don't want it to go out, but this one does come with a little punch uh, so I can punch the cigar on the top so that way I can just puff it and get some airflow. And then on the top here, I'll do it really quick. That's it, you're not gonna get much out of me. Although he did say he will refill it for free, which was really nice of him to do. I think that's a really big plus. This is a magnetic case. I'm gonna probably keep this. Um, I might get another lighter in the future, but I really do like this lighter. I'll sit that to the side, but that's what it looks like. Really nice grip. Uh, I like that matte finish. It's nice, like blacked out silver. Really like the design on this one. That's why I chose it. I was gonna do matte black, but I decided to do that one. I thought it was more elegant. Then we have the cutter in here. He put the cutter in the cigar in here as well. Uh, I'll go ahead and put this bag aside. Basically, I do know how to actually cut it and everything. Uh, I've watched videos numerous times, so I know and I'm not just lost because I could have just did it there. My parents only letting me do this one time in the house and after that I cannot do this in the house because nobody in my house smokes. I don't really smoke like that either. But this is what the cigar looks like. Again, this is the Davidoff cigar. The name of this one is Gen Genevi. I know I'm, I'm botching that all the way up, but I hope I did it somewhat right. This is a Grand Chew, Grand Crew, uh, cigar by Davidoff. He chose this one. I'm obviously I think it's a nice one I don't know really much about the brands or anything right now But the more I dabble into this the more I'll become known by different types of brands and whatnot and Hopefully I find the brand that I like the most you can already smell it uh, in the wrapper But as soon as I open this up, it's probably gonna open up all the way So I'm gonna save that over there and then last but not least I have the cutter right here again This was $3.99. I haven't even opened this yet, but it's one of the uh what do you call this? Gullatine cutter. This is a Gullatine V cutter, as you see here. I went with this one just because I was like, I, I'd rather have this version instead of the other one. But it comes in this nice thing, as again, just to help promote them, because they did an awesome job. Cigar Realm in Absent, Virginia. You can check out the store if you really want to. Uh, they actually have a rewards program and whatnot. It's really cool. And they have some really nice seating in there as well. No, they're not sponsoring this video. But we'll go ahead and open up the Gullatine cutter. The one thing I love about these is that the sound from them 
when every time someone cuts the like cigar, it sounds amazing. So yeah. Here we go. That sound is so good. We'll go ahead and open this up. Hopefully I don't botch this up because I really don't want to, especially on my first time. I do have the trash can over here uh, if I drop anything. If you haven't seen one of these or you're wondering what it looks like, that's what the Bellatine cutter looks like. I'm definitely gonna get another one in the future, but for the time being, this will do. That's where I cut it at. I'm assuming this is where I put in the cigar and it'll fit perfectly in there. So yeah, I'm not that far gone. I do, I did watch the videos, like I said. So we'll go ahead and open this up. This is the Davidoff Grand Cru Genevi. I hope I said that right. Please don't be mad at me guys, because again, this is my first time ever doing this. And one other thing, I thought the cigar was gonna be way heavier and more dense, but it's actually pretty light. I was surprised to see how light it was. I really did think it was gonna be heavier, so yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up. It smells super strong. It smells like chocolate. I know that sounds crazy. It also smells like fish food a little bit. You know that smell from like dry fish food that you used to feed fish with like the flakes? It smells like that and chocolate, like cocoa, like it smells like that and cocoa combined. That's what it looks like. It feels really good in the hand though, like as Falsy Carter says, I don't know if you guys know who that is, but it's so different, it's very different. I imagine I take off this strip thing here, or maybe I'll leave it on there, I don't know. I think I'm gonna take it off. I think I should take it off. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take it off just for the sake. I don't know. This is gonna be, I assume, the part where I smoke it, and then this part is where I chop it off. And I know they also say you might wanna wet this part uh, first, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I can already taste some of it. <laughs> uh, let me not forget to cut it. I'll put the trash can right here. That way I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna make sure I do this right. And honestly, the more I do this, the easier it's gonna be. But again, it's supposed to be just a little bit. I know they said it's not supposed to be a lot. You wanna have as little amount as possible. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here. Be with me guys. And they also said to brush it off a little bit. I really like the sound of that. What do y'all think? Is that a good job? Let me know in the comment section below. I think it's pretty good. I don't think I took too much off. I think it's really good. Right there is enough. Not too much, just enough. Now, we have the fun part, the lighter. This is the part that I do remember is that they say you're not supposed to inhale and I'm definitely not going to do that. Basically, you're lighting this up and I'm just circling it around. That's what they said to do. I don't feel anything yet. I hope I didn't burn it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna stop the video really quick and I'll come back with you guys. All right, I think I got it. I think. I don't feel any smoke coming out my mouth though. That's why I feel like I'm doing a little something wrong. Yeah, guys, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Let me know in the comment section below if I'm supposed to be doing something else. If you wanna join the O Squad, it is free. Thank you all for watching once again, and until next time, peace out. A few moments later. All right, guys, so uh, sorry about all that. I figured it out. I just realized instead of me doing this, instead of blowing it out, I'm really supposed to just draw it. It's not breathe it in, but it's just, watch. I'll show, my, I'll show you guys that I figured it out.
<laughs> you can definitely taste the flavor uh, way more now. Obviously, that's the way it was supposed to be done. And now I see how it lasts like definitely an hour. Um, it's nice. I get why people do it. It's not something I would do all the time, but I definitely know how to do it now. Literally, once I finished recording, I was just like, there's got to be, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I was like, why is there no smoke coming out of my mouth? And I figured it out. So yeah, I do enjoy it though. It's nice. I can't wait to try other flavors. Thank you all for watching once again. But now, peace out.